Hi, and welcome to another Captured Chaos Art video. This one is about color wheels. I'm going to talk about how I use the color wheel to mix paints and understand what colors I will get, and also how I use the color wheel when I want to plan colors for a painting. I've printed a color wheel here, and I'm sorry for the line across it. It's a defect in my printer. This color wheel, like many others, has lots of colors around the outside, and they get darker as they get towards the center. This works better when talking about paint. You may also have seen color wheels that get lighter towards the center, and that works very well for talking about mixing colors of light. But we're mixing paint. And uh, in general, you probably already know that you can mix colors like a blue and a yellow to get a green. But I, I want to show sort of how that works on the color wheel. I'm going to put some pins in here to represent colors of paint that I might own. And so let's say I did own those colors. I could produce other colors by mixing them. And like, for example, if I were to mix this green and this yellow, the result is going to be somewhere on this line. Not exactly linear, because I know from experience that if I have yellow, it only takes a tiny amount of green to drag it way over here. But if I have green, a tiny amount of yellow will hardly move it at all. So I know that it is not exactly linear. And also, it's probably not a straight line. It, it might dip in a little bit more towards the center. The colors get a little darker when you mix them together. Colors don't get lighter when you mix them. I mean, if you mix white with something, you end up with something that is darker than white. Always. So... Uh, I could mix other colors that you're probably familiar with that, you know, are going to give pretty reasonable results. Pretty much, if I mixed this color and that color, I would expect to get something in between. And it actually is true even with colors that are a long ways apart. Like, here's a magenta and here's a yellow. Do you really get orange when you mix magenta and yellow? And, well, actually, yes, you do. Here's a little bit of magenta. And here's a little bit of yellow. And if I mix those together, I get orange. Might not have been entirely obvious, but orange is right there between magenta and yellow. I mixed them pretty much 50-50, pretty close, and it, it came out pretty much towards the middle. So um, that works remarkably well, even when you're talking about colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel. So for example, this green and this magenta go right through the middle. That means I would expect them to get brown or black. Not really black. Black is hard to make, but I would expect it to get pretty brown. And so here's hook green. Here's some magenta, and when I put those together, it turns pretty brown. Still got some green to it, but that's pretty brown. So. In general, if you were to add black to any of the colors on the outside, you'll move farther and farther towards the inside. And if you were to add white to any of the colors on the inside, you'd, you'd move further and further toward the outside. So, when I'm planning a painting, I'll often pick 
a lot of related colors, like lots of greens and blues and yellows. I might call them a family. And then I might want to do a swipe over the top of them with a color that's really contrasting, really opposite. So if I picked colors over here, I might swipe over them with one of the colors over here. And similarly, if I, if I had a painting with lots of colors like this, I might swipe over them with something completely over here because it creates such a contrast, a, a detailed contrast of, of how the colors fight each other. Sometimes I call it conflict between colors. And finally, I should mention that um, if you want to mix a couple of colors, if you wanted to produce, for example, this color here, then you'd have to use colors that are nearby it. You can't, you're not going to be able to mix that color using magenta unless you started with this color and added no magenta, um, which is not, you know, not mixing paints. But if you wanted to produce this color here, further down in, well, you have a lot more choices. You could mix these colors, or you could mix these colors. You could even talk about mixing these colors. Again, it might not be a 50-50 mix. It might be most of one and some of another. But in theory, all of the different lines that include this point could all produce this color. If you owned a color out here and you owned a color over here, some ratio of them will probably produce this color. And so you could plot where your colors are on the color wheel and using a straight edge, start to plan out which ones will mix together. And also you can plot where your colors are to understand where opposing colors would be to create color conflict. It just makes the paintings more uh, dramatic. If you choose only colors from the same family, so to speak. There won't be much to challenge the eye. There won't be much contrast in it in terms of colors alone. Anyway, that's how I mix colors. That's how I plan paintings. And you can do the same with a color wheel. You can buy them online if you don't have a color printer. Um, and I've also seen exercises where people make them using the, the colors that they have. Anyway, happy painting.